क्रिस्टल ऑसलेटर्स और वेल नोन फॉर देयर स्टेबिलिटी दे आर बीइंग यूज्ड इन डिजिटल सिस्टम्स टू प्रोवाइड स्टेबल फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर द ऑपरेशन ऑफ क्लॉक दे आर कैपेबल ऑफ वर्किंग वाइल गिविंग a stable output year in and year out decades together they are high frequency oscillators they use crystals crystals that exhibit piezo electric effect these crystals are used in the design of crystal oscillators quartz is the crystal that is used in the design other crystals tourmaline or uh, rochelle salt these are also suitable but their performance is inferior to quartz hence quartz is widely used quartz is preferred in the design of crystal oscillator electronic circuits oscillators third part series on semiconductor devices and circuits lecture number 10.12 crystal oscillators are well known for their stability stability in frequency and stability in amplitude of uh, their uh, output voltage waveform they are uh, capable of giving stable performance over long periods of time like any other oscillator crystal oscillators are also single loop feedback amplifiers obeying unity loop gain condition in any single loop feedback amplifier there exists a basic amplifier there exists a feedback network or beta network in crystal oscillators too a basic amplifier exists a feedback network exists basic amplifier is usually designed with uh, pets and uh, the role of feedback network or beta network is played by crystal the quartz crystal in the present session the focus is on crystal oscillators their important features their behavior their properties now we move further to start the course session crystal oscillator crystal oscillators are widely used in digital systems to provide a stable reference clock digital systems means digital computers laptops etc they need a clock a reference clock it requires to be stable in the design of reference clock stable reference clock crystal oscillators are used these are basically tuned circuit oscillators employing a piezoelectric crystal usually quartz as a resonant tank circuit these oscillators fall in the category of resonant oscillators resonant oscillators are oscillators in which beta network consists of inductors and capacitors the network is designed with inductors and capacitors as crystal has greater stability of holding the frequency constant or fixed 
the crystal oscillators well known for frequency stability and are used whenever great stability is required such as digital communication transmitters and receivers crystal oscillators as already told they are well known for their frequency stability they are used whenever great stability is required crystals exhibiting piezoelectric effect is a backbone of these oscillators as already mentioned piezoelectric effect crystals they are used as feedback network or beta network in the design of crystal oscillators piezoelectric effect refers to the tendency of a crystal to vibrate at a fixed frequency when placed in an electric field it also refers to crystals developing voltage across one set of their faces when mechanical stress is applied so piezoelectric effect is basically a conversion a transformation between mechanical stress and electric voltage here is shown a crystal oscillator in a is a shown symbol for crystal and b is shown the circuit of crystal oscillator this is basic amplifier pet load is lc circuit rs is source resistance cs is bypass capacitor rg is for the sake of biosing crystal is beta circuit feedback network vdd is bios voltage drain voltage here load is indicated by a resonant circuit reason is these oscillators are meant for uh, high frequency applications at high frequency applications resistance small resistance or preferably no resistance are required to be there if resistance exists because of skin effect what happens is the existing resistance gets magnified so they take all precautions to see that resistance is absent whenever a circuit is working at high frequencies a small amount of resistance may be there but it can be neglected in comparison with the, the reactance of inductor at high frequencies inductor reactance is very high so as already mentioned this is a crystal circuit with the fet representing a basic amplifier and crystal representing beta circuit typical values are crystal frequency is 1 megahertz l is 61 to 122 hertz c is 300 picofarads rg is 10 mega ohms rs is 2.2 k cs is 0.02 picofarad this is 1 megahertz oscillator its output is 1 megahertz notice crystal frequency is 1 megahertz oscillator frequency is 1 megahertz so crystals frequency is the oscillator frequency some more points regarding crystal oscillator three crystals are widely used in these oscillators they are rochelle salt quartz tourmaline widely used one is quartz why rochelle salt has the best piezoelectric activity but it breaks easily it is a shortcoming tourmaline is very tough but its frequency stability is poor so both are associated with shortcomings quartz falls in between the two extremes it is considered to have a good piezoelectric activity as well as a strong enough to withstand vibrations it is also cheap and hence preferred in the design of crystal oscillators hence quartz is preferred a few points regarding electrical characteristics of uh, 
crystals electrical equivalent circuit of crystal consists of a parallel combination of capacitor cp this cp represents electrostatic capacitance between crystal electrodes on the other side a series combination of inductor capacitor cs and resistor r parallel capacitance cp is larger than series capacitance cs usually crystals used to have extremely large values of q and hence presence of r can be neglected large values of q means losses dissipation is low low dissipation means very small r hence r can be neglected as oscillation frequency varies from tens of kilohertz to tens of megahertz l values change from thousands of henries to few tens of milli henries cs values from few femtofarads to few tens of femtofarads r values from tens of kilo ohms to few kilo ohms q factor ranges from 25 1000 to 150000 the value of parallel capacitor cp has an almost constant value in the order of few picofarads these values are being mentioned in this slide to give a feeling of uh, component values that are used in the design of crystal oscillators in this slide is shown electrical model and reactance function of piezo electric crystal as already mentioned electrical equivalent circuit consists of parallel combination of one capacitor cp and a series combination of l r c s r can be neglected so now the impedance of this equivalent circuit becomes with r0 a pure reactance <clears throat> this reactance function can be sketched against frequency before one frequency which is designated as a ws the crystal acts as capacitor after ws <clears throat> it is inductive until frequency reaches another value wp after wp again the reactance is capacitive exactly at uh, frequency equal to omega p it is in resonance in fact this is frequency of oscillation some more points regarding impedance of crystal or reactance of crystal the impedance of the crystal can be seen as pure reactance when series resistance is neglected it can be shown the reactance is equal to 1 by j omega c prime omega square minus omega s square pi omega square minus omega p square here omega s angular frequency omega s is equal to 1 by square root of l cs l is inductor cs is series capacitance is contributed by series branch and hence called series resonance frequency other one wp it is uh, equal to square root of cs plus cp over square root of l cs cp it is contributed by both branches and is called parallel resonance frequency in general parallel resonance frequency is more than series 1 wp is more than ws this fact also has been noticed by us in the diagram shown in the previous slide however for typical values of cs and cp cs is very very less compared to cp they are nearly equal means ws is nearly equal to wp the net reactance for angular frequency less than ws is capacitive we have already noticed this fact and at w equal to ws the reactance is zero 
In between WS and WP, the reactance is inductive. At W equal to WP, the reactance is infinity. At W more than WP, the reactance once again becomes capacitive. The oscillator frequency is essentially determined by the crystal and not by the rest of the circuit. It oscillates at a frequency which lies between FS and FP but uh, close to parallel resonance value which is given by 1 by 2 pi root LCS which is approximately square root of CS plus CP over 2 pi root LCS CP. This is the resonant frequency of the oscillator. Now we consider another class of uh, crystal oscillators. These are called Pierce oscillators. A few points regarding Pierce oscillators. The Pierce oscillator is type of electronic oscillator particularly well suited for use in piezoelectric crystal oscillator circuits. Named after its inventor George W. Pierce, a physicist, inventor and a professor at Harvard. The Pierce oscillator is a derivative of Paul Pitts oscillator employing a crystal in place of L in its circuit. Virtually all digital IC clock circuits are of a Pierce type as the circuit can be implemented using minimum number of components. This is an advantage. The low cost of the circuit and the excellent frequency stability of the quad crystal give it a lead over other designs in many consumer electronic applications. So this is the FET version of Pierce oscillator. This is amplifier circuit. This is the BIOS arrangement. We did is BIOS source. Our source resistance bypass capacitance. C1, C2 and crystal. These three are part of beta network. If L is used in place of crystal here, then this entire circuit becomes Colpitt's oscillator. In place of L in Colpitt's oscillator, crystal is used. Here, crystal acts as inductor. The oscillator frequency is completely controlled by crystal ferrometer. In these oscillators, there is no scope for varying the frequency. Hence, these are called fixed frequency circuits. <clears throat> They exhibit high level accuracy, extreme stability with respect to temperature. The fact that crystal reactance is in between WS and WP is inductive makes it suitable for use as stable inductor. Oscillation frequency is given by this formula. F is equal to 1 by 2 pi root L CS. One point has to be kept in mind is that despite all their positive aspects, positive features, there is no scope for tuning variation of frequency. Sometimes it becomes a great drawback, a serious drawback. Now we come to the end of the session. Before closing down, a few points regarding what we have covered in the session. Crystal oscillators are introduced. Crystal properties are given their behavior, their importance, all those aspects are covered. Hope this session is useful to you. We meet again in another session soon with a new topic.